was watching someone's video on their pet peeves and different things that pissed them off. And it inspired me to make my own little pet peeves video of things that pissed me off. Now, a lot of things piss me off, but these are the top 10 things that piss me off. I say, first of all, that I'm not a mean person naturally. At least I don't think that I am. I try to be nice and I try not to judge people, but there are certain things that get on everyone's nerves. Like everyone has something that just gets underneath their skin and they hashtag pet peeves. <laughs> The number one thing that pisses me off is when people talk while I'm trying to watch TV. It could be a TV show that I've been waiting for so long to come on and then I get so excited for it, like The Walking Dead for example. Say like the season premiere is just now coming on. My dad sometimes will walk in right in the middle of The Walking Dead and just talk as loud as he can. Almost like him and my mom are trying to have a competition to see who can talk the loudest. And then whenever The Walking Dead goes off, they shut up. Oh my god. Do not interrupt somebody while they're trying to watch anything on TV, especially The Walking Dead. Like, no. And another thing could be like when you're at the movies and you're seeing a movie in the movie theater and like you have people sitting behind you or in front of you or beside you and they're just having like this full on out conversation while you're sitting there trying to watch the movie. Nothing pisses me off more. I'm just like, I came here to see a good movie. If I wanted to do that, I'd just stay home because I'm sure my parents do it a lot. But that is like one of the number one things that freaking piss me the hell off. I hate it when people talk while I'm trying to watch something, especially The Walking Dead. Someone is telling you their opinion on something that you actually like. Like, say it's like one of your best friends. Like, this has happened to me so many times before. But you have to be like nice to that person because they're your friend. I hate that so much. Or like, the way that I see it, and I know this is kind of like hypocritical because this video is like a bunch of things that I hate that people do. Thing like a band or somebody that you like and somebody's like sitting there like bashing them. Instead of bashing the things that you hate, why don't you just tell everybody what you love? It just takes so much to be so negative all the time and just bash on the things that you hate when you could just be talking about things that you love. Why waste your breath being so negative when it's not going to make you feel any better? Like, I like cats. Say one of my friends is a dog person and they're just constantly sitting there like blabbing on about how they hate cats and cats are this and cats are that. It's not like I'm walking into their house and being disrespectful towards them and their dogs. Like, I just stay quiet about it. I keep my mouth shut. But then they go off and they just start blabbing on about how much they hate cats and how cats are this and cats are that. I cannot stand that. Like, I'm not doing it to you. Don't do it to me. The third thing that pisses me off is when someone leaves toothpaste in the sink. For some reason that just grosses me out so much, like you can stop being so lazy and rinse your toothpaste out of the sink. It makes you look nasty. I mean don't get me wrong, I've done it before too, but just don't do it all the time. And try your best to not leave it in there like constantly because it's gross. Nobody else wants to see your toothpaste in the sink whenever they're trying to brush their teeth. People don't wash their hands before they eat. Say they just got out of the bathroom and they don't wash their hands and you think it's so disgusting, especially for a man because they have to like touch their junk and stuff and they're gonna touch something that I touch or that's gonna go into my mouth and that's just disgusting. Like no, wash your hands. Germs are like everywhere and I do not want your germs on my sandwich or something that I am gonna touch that my hands are gonna come into full on contact with. But like the thought of people in fast food restaurants like doing that just disgusts me and I, like you can catch diseases and get sick and stuff from people not washing washing their hands after they get out of the bathroom. The fifth thing that pisses me off is whenever you're listening to your headphones 
and someone is like constantly talking and constantly making you take them out. Understand that every once in a while like your parents or someone wants to have a conversation with you and they don't want you to be all up in your phone or all up in your music or but whenever we're going for like a road trip or something like if i have my headphones in and you see that i have my headphones in then let me listen to my music in peace okay i mean like once is okay once is okay the second time you do it it's getting a little annoying and then the third time that you do it i'm just about like done with wearing my headphones. One earbud in my ear and then the other one out because that person just will not shut up. And I'm just, you've seen that I had headphones in. You've seen that I had to take them out like three times just to hear you. Like stop bugging the crap out of me. Let me listen to my music in peace. The sixth thing that pisses me off is whenever you get comfortable in bed and then you realize you have to pee. It doesn't even have to be in bed, like you could just be like sitting down somewhere watching TV or something and you get comfortable and then all of a sudden you realize you have to pee. The other night, every time I lay down in my bed and I got comfortable and I was getting ready to go to sleep, I get this really strong urge up out of nowhere to have to pee extremely bad. <laughs> And I would just have to keep getting up and going back and forth to the bathroom. And it's just, I pee every night before I go to bed. Okay. But sometimes I don't have to pee that bad whenever I'm going to bed. And then whenever I get comfortable, that's when I'll have, I'll get this really strong urge that I have to pee extremely bad. And then I'm like forced to get up and go pee. The seventh thing that pisses me off is when people talk over top of you. I understand that you get really excited and you get like these really cool ideas like you don't want to forget about it, but when someone's just like constantly cutting you off and constantly talking over top of you, it makes me feel like I'm not important and what I have to say is not, is not as important as somebody else have a turn, let somebody else talk, like you don't have to just keep saying what you want to say all the time. Like sometimes I'll get really cool ideas and I'll do it myself. I think everybody's guilty of it at at least one point in their lives everybody has talked over someone. But like when you're just constantly doing it like all the time when you're sitting there trying to have a conversation with somebody it's just it's annoying. Like come on you can make that person feel really bad about them. The eighth thing that pisses me off is when you walk in to use the bathroom and someone doesn't flush. I don't want people walking into the bathroom seeing like what I did in the toilet if you know what I'm saying. Especially if you had like company over or something and like you didn't flush then they would just walk in there and be like he, he doesn't flush the toilet like that's so gross. Flush the toilet nobody else wants to see that it's gross. Whenever a guy uses the bathroom and either A, leaves the toilet seat up, or B, pees on the toilet seat and leaves it there for you to sit on. Both of these things are really annoying and I'm not trying to say that girls don't do it too because lately girls have been getting really nasty like in bathrooms and stuff like girls will just leave like pee dribbles and stuff all over the toilet seat which I'll squat or just not use it at all because I don't want to sit my butt down on somebody else's pee. That, it's getting like near your private parts and it's getting like near your butthole and it's somebody else's pee and it's just gross. It's, at least if you're gonna get it on the toilet then wipe it off if you accidentally get it on the toilet. You know what I'm saying? Like don't just leave it there for somebody else to set on. I don't want nobody else's pee on my bare butt. That's gross. There have been times when I went to go use the bathroom and my dad will leave the toilet seat up and I won't be paying any attention because I've got to pee really bad and I sat down into the toilet because he left the toilet seat up. My bare butt goes down into the toilet water where other people's nastiness has been. Like guys do not understand the troubles that girls have to go through. I mean I think it's great that a guy can put the toilet seat up because like he doesn't 
he's not gonna get his like pee dribbles like all over the toilet seat. But I also think that if you're gonna pee and you're gonna lift the toilet seat up, that you should close it back once you're finished because if you live with girls, girls don't pee the same way that you do. Be a little respectful. I don't wanna sit my butt down in like toilet water. That's just, oh God, I hate that. Like, you sit down in the toilet to pee and the next thing you know, your life flashes before your eyes because your ass goes like all the way down into the toilet because a guy just left the toilet seat open. And the last thing that pisses me off is whenever you forget what you have to say. Oh my god. Nothing has ever been such a big of a problem for me. I swear to god, I think sometimes I have short-term memory loss. If you guys haven't seen um, the movie Finding Nemo, which I don't know why you wouldn't have seen Finding Nemo, because who hasn't seen Finding Nemo? The blue fish on there, Cory. I swear to god, if you had to describe my personality, I would be just like her. Because, like, she keeps forgetting her question and she keeps forgetting her name. I forget what I have to say, like, so much. I have to say, like, a thousand times. And it's not even something that I'm trying to do. It's just, like, I get distracted really easy. Like, I have a really short attention span. Talking on the phone or something, and then I'll just be, like, looking around the room. Something will catch my eye. And then I'll just forget all about what I had to say. And then it'll take me, like, ten years later until I finally figure out what it was that I was going to say. I'm sure that it's not only annoying for the person that's saying it, but it's also annoying for the person that has to sit there and, li and listen to it and deal with it all the time. Like, I kind of feel for Tiffany. I think I just have like a really short attention span or something. I'm sure I'm going to have more videos like this soon because, like I said, there's a lot of things that piss me off. Um, I should just make this video title Things That Piss Me Off because <laughs> that's all I've been saying instead of pet peeves. I'm not normally a mean person. Like, I kind of, I try to be nice at least. And I try not to judge people because I feel like I'm just as screwed up as anybody else is. I hope that someone else feels the same way out there because I would feel like a asshole if I made a video like this and, like, nobody else, like, agreed with me. Like, it would make me feel better if I knew that somebody else like felt the same way. I'm sure that there's going to be someone out there that agrees with me on all of this stuff. Like I know that I'm not going to be alone with this. This was my pet peeves video and I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will make another one very soon. You will see another one of these in the near future.